What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and tap the little bell so you get notified for every video I do post. But yes, guys, I'm going to be showing you how I make my um, my YouTube banner or my like cover photo for my channel. It's super easy, free, and super cute. Okay, like, look at that. But yeah, guys, we're going to be using Canva for this. So um, if you don't got Canva, you got to download it right now. And I do use PixArt as well. So Canva and PixArt are the two apps that I am going to be using. But yeah, guys, let's get into this video. All right, you guys, I'm going to try and talk as minimal as possible. So you know me, I'm a talker. But yeah, guys, I went to PixArt, uploaded my photo. I'm going to hit cut out and hit the option person. It automatically cuts out the person that you want. This is free right here. And then I just click this little part right here. It was bothering me. You can see like the background of the bench I was sitting on. So I wanted to erase that out. And then I pretty much just kept everything else. I saved it. And then I did the rest of my pictures as well. So now that I am done using Pixar, I go into my Canva. I'm just looking at the measurements, like where I can put in my images and my text so it doesn't get cut off. Again, this measurement is 1546 by 423. Again, all my measurements will be in the description box below just so it's easier for you guys. And yes, yeah, so right here, I'm just pretty much going to be uploading my images that I just made in Pixar or cut out all of my images that I want to have. And then I'm just going to design this to my desire. You can make this however you want. If you want to follow this, that's perfectly fine. I am not going to probably talk the rest of this just so you can see how I design it. And I will show you how I get to like these certain images that Canva does give you. But I do have a tip for you guys. Just get the Pro if you're just going to make this one thing and cancel your membership. I don't know. That's what I did when I first started using Canva. But now I use it like every day. And I really, really like it. But And I believe it's like only like 10 bucks a month. I don't know. It's really cheap. But I, I definitely like it. But um, yeah, guys. I'm going to you know, design this to my desire. Here you guys, I just want to show how I do do this. I am just taking this image and I'm flipping it. I go to the flip thing and I flip it. I do horizontal so it flips the image because I kind of wanted them equal. So it, like, I don't know, I'm very like OCD. But yes, I just want to show you that's how you flip the image if you want to like flip it to the other side. Here you guys, I was just trying to give my image or like my text some shadow. You don't have to do this. I don't know, I was just playing with it. 
you just like click it and then you edit the text and then you can click all these different options but um yeah i ended up just leaving it the same black color but um but that's how you mess with like the text and stuff Okay, so to get like images that canvas per like provides you that are free or like that uses pro you go to the elements option or like little tab here and then you type in whatever you want they literally have a whole bunch of different little like um subscribe things or like i said any image you want search it up and see what they have and then the pro ones they say pro on them of course but like this is where i got like my instagram little logo and my tiktok logo and i do have two instagrams that's why i tag both of them but yes, that's what I did for my like social medias. I thought I just wanted them like right there on my channel. So when they look, they can see that right there. The thing that I like about Canva is like it literally like centers everything for you like when you move it it gives you like a line that you like but like right here you guys I am just trying to get the same color that is in my dress onto my images so I literally hit the little plus button and the like right next to the document colors and then it let me put like a little arrow on what I wanted like to copy like what color and that's how I got my color if that's what you're wondering how I did that it's actually pretty cool so like everything goes like hand in hand in my little um, like my little banner all like the colors match That I am done with my image I am going to put that arrow up button I'm going to save this image no particular like um like kind of image I just did like the PNG image JPG probably would have been better but I am going to make another image now I am going to make the longer part the desktop mask part max part it is going to be 2560 by 423 Again, that's 2560, 423. Everything will be in the description box. And right here, I'm just making like a little glitter background. This to add behind my image. And again, you guys, I am gonna do something a little bit differently. Just keep watching the video. I show how I make the whole square like look all together with the best quality. So yeah, right here, I'm just adding in, again, this glitter is pro, but there is like that pink image I popped up there. It is not pro, so you can always use that. And then I just looked up a regular square in that little elements um, thing that I told you about before. 
That's where I get all of my little images and stuff besides the ones that I uploaded. So yes, I'm just making this even. This thing was giving me a difficult time making it even. But then I am going to upload the image I just made previously into the Canva right there. And then I'm just going to make it as big as I can where it doesn't overlap the white. That's how I made sure that I made it the right size. I just would not overlap the white that I already have there. And then I just center it in the middle. And then I got some palm trees to put in there. I kind of want to make it look like a little cute. I don't know. I just added some different things. You can always add whatever you want. Again, this is all under the elements tab. But yeah, guys, this is how I'm going to design this right here. Then I added that palm tree. I am going to duplicate it and just flip it so then they match. And I'm going to add it to the other side. I should have put two of these. I do end up adding it later on, but I do do two of them so it's a little bit closer to like my image, like my pictures, and it like really pops when like I put it on my cover photo. You'll see what I mean in the end. Now I'm just going to save my image again. Just like I did before, you're gonna save the image and then we're going to add it to the big background just so then it fits the cover photo of like the requirements. And like the size of that I'm going to show you is 2560 by 1440. And again, that's gonna be in my description box. And now that I made it that size, I'm going to add that last image I just made again. And I'm going to put it right in the middle where it doesn't like go over the border, just like so. And then what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to try and find like a background that I like. I was trying to tell, like look at which ones that I wanted. I didn't know if I wanted like a tufted background or like a color background. I ended up doing a color one, you'll see it in the end. I kind of made like an ombre looking one. But yes, right here I'm just showing you different backgrounds, ones that I didn't like, ones I did like. And then I also put in some glitter stars you'll be seeing here, just to kind of give like that square, not as hard of a border. It kind of just like blended in, I would say a little bit better. So you guys, I did find these stars, so what I wanted to do is so it wasn't covering my image is I just put it backwards so it was behind the image, so it wasn't covering it up. And then after I did that, I just was trying to find different backgrounds just to go with that, see if it like made it better with those stars. I don't know, like I said, at the end, I ended up just doing like an ombre background, but again, just play with it and see what you like. It's, you know, it's whatever you desire. Okay, so now I'm just going to add in another picture. I don't know, I felt like it needed it. And like as I was putting that picture next to my other ones, I realized like the quality was like way different. Like it was way more clarified, like clarity, you know what I'm saying? So what I did is I just re-added that picture, literally. And I just put it like that, where it fit in the box, just like so. And then I just brought those images back up, like to the front. And move them around so yeah so now it's like all like fit and like the clarity is all good so yeah that's pretty much what I did to make like that whole like look look good I made the first image once and then I made the background behind that and then I made the third image behind it I don't know if that makes sense but yeah you guys I don't know I just wanted to make the clarity look really good I added in another palm tree just to kind of you know fill in them spaces and make it look really good and that's how i made this and then you're gonna see me just add in that ombre background as well And right here, I just added in some butterflies. I don't know, I feel like I needed to do something else. This is the last thing I'm going to add. 
and then I just made it the same exact color as like my subscribe button and my TikTok and my Instagram logos, just like I said before, just so it all goes like hand in hand, all the colors match. I'm just saving my image and then I'm going to go on to my YouTube channel and I'm just going to upload it and then I'm going to show you guys what the end result. It looks so cute y'all. I'm like obsessed with it. Now that I'm making this video though, I did change my one Instagram, um, my like business one for aesthetics. I changed the, like, the name of it so I'm going to have to go back and just edit that part out. But um, yeah, you guys, it looks so good. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And if you do end up, you know, trying to make it just like this, let me know how it worked out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to give your girl a big fat thumbs up. And yeah, guys. Well, thanks for watching.